Hello everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to cover how you can fill your raised beds for free without spending any money. And I'm not talking about just taking some of the soil on the side of the raised bed and putting it into your raised beds or filling bottom of your raised bed with logs and sticks. I'm talking about filling your raised bed with rich organic matter, which includes worm compost that earthworms make. This stuff is called black gold. This is a secret that garden soil manufacturer and raised bed soil manufacturer wish you don't know. So let's get started. I will be filling this raised bed with kitchen scraps, leaves, and organic material. I got rid of some of the soil by piling up the soil on the side. This will make a good depth for organic matter. Next, I added some paper towels and greens. Paper towels provide carbon and greens provide nitrogen content. I also added the leftover green medium from growing microgreens. This green medium contains coconut coir, which is very good bedding for worms along with paper towels. Some people have concern about bleach in paper towels. These paper towels are food grade. That means you can wipe your face with them and wrap food in them. So I feel okay using them in my garden. Next, I added some more greens. This includes all kinds of kitchen scraps, including banana and carrot peels. I also added some stale bread and really far gone banana peel and worms will be happy to decompose these contents. I then topped all the content with dead leaves to add a lot of organic material to the raised bed. Earthworms thrive in decomposing dead leaves in nature, so this step is very important to keep the earthworms happy. Dead leaves decompose much faster and help to create rich black organic compost. I then covered all the contents with thin layer of soil that I had piled on the side. Covering all the organic material with thin layer of soil prevents fruit flies, fungus gnats, and other critters from invading the scraps. I keep the layer of soil very thin so that it does not prevent aeration in the organic material. After a couple of weeks when I had more kitchen scraps, I added the scraps to fill the rest of my raised bed. I also added the whole flat of wheatgrass remains in the raised bed as well. I pulled apart the wheatgrass roots and growing medium for faster decomposing. I'm showing all of these so you can make use of all of these materials and recycle these materials so that they don't go to landfill. After filling the raised bed, I added a layer of dead leaves on top. Don't worry, after decomposing, this material will shrink and compact quite a bit in size. I then flattened all the content and covered the whole thing with soil. Next, I took some earthworms from my worm bin and added them to my raised bed. I want to have a healthy population of worms. Oh, this one got left out. Let me add this one with his friends as well. Earthworms are really efficient in composting. They feed on fungus and decaying organic material and in turn create worm castings, which are really good for the plants. They do not have teeth, so the soil I added on top help as great for earthworms to decompose the material. Now, I usually do this in my raised beds in fall going into winter because I'm not growing as much in winter as I would in spring and summer. So lots of my raised beds are empty during the winter and I can utilize this time to fill them with a lot of kitchen scraps, leaves, and turn them into rich organic matter, of course, with the help of lots of earthworms. But you can do this anytime throughout the year. You can do this in spring, in summer, in fall, throughout the winter. In winter, it does take a little bit longer to turn all this organic matter into worm compost. In summer and spring, this process is much quicker and it can be done in about three to four months. After two months, the organic material starts to decompose. It is harder and harder to find any kitchen scraps in the raised bed. Make sure to keep your entire raised bed water and moist at all times. Worms thrive in moisture, so do not let your raised bed dry out. The consistency of the content of your raised bed should be similar to a wrung out sponge. This way there is not too much or too little moisture in the decomposing material, which creates the perfect habitat for earthworms to multiply and decompose the material further. Disclaimer, if you have a bear, rodent or raccoon problem, don't do this. If you have a bear problem, don't do this at all. Don't mess with bears. If you have a rodent or raccoon problem, I still discourage doing this practice. However, if you want to, what you can do is you can lay down a wire mesh on top of buried kitchen scraps and then weigh it down with bricks. This way, rodents won't be able to get to it. After four months, all the organic material turns into rich dark organic fertilizer. This is called black gold. It contains compost and worm castings. Let me dig in and see what we got. There's a worm right there, hard at work to create compost. These little guys are miracle makers and plants thrive in this growing medium. I have quite a few earthworms in my raised bed. They have multiplied a lot. Wherever I dig, I find more and more earthworms. This is absolutely crazy. My entire raised bed is now prepared and ready to be planted for spring and summer garden. 
Earthworms will not survive below freezing, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. So if you live in an area where your daytime temperature dips below freezing or your ground freezes up, you won't be able to practice this technique. If the daytime temperature remains above freezing and the nighttime temperature dips below freezing, the worms will still survive as the organic material provides insulation for worms and the decaying organic material also generates enough heat for the worms to stay alive. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.